How to move to Frisco, Texas without moving to Frisco, Texas. What in the world is up with that question even? Why would anybody want to do that or care about that? Well, the reason is Frisco, Texas set, uh, has such an unbelievable buzz about it right now that it seems that just about everybody relocating to the North Dallas area is talking about moving to Frisco, but not everybody actually is moving to Frisco. Not only that, but people within the Metroplex, especially those that have been here for a while, are starting to recognize Frisco as a main hub and no longer the northern suburb that it's always been. So that's where a question like this comes into play. So how do you move to Frisco without moving to Frisco? I guess the root of that question is, how do I get all the things that Frisco offers if I'm not necessarily moving to Frisco. So we're gonna talk about all the things around Frisco, Texas, and what they offer and how you can get a lot of, if not all of the lifestyle aspects of Frisco in other communities. So really Frisco kind of grew up out of the West Plano side of things. Now there's gonna be people that immediately disagree with me because Frisco has been there for a long time. But the identity of Frisco began to really explode as big retail, lots of restaurants, commercial development began to explode um, sort of in what is now the heart of Frisco, which is directly north of the west side of Plano, Texas, uh, where you have a lot of higher end retail, a lot of entertainment opportunities. Um, you know, you've got uh, sort of a luxury leaning uh, lifestyle in that corridor of Plano that easily transitions into Frisco almost without noticing. Now, Frisco does the same to the north now when you get into Prosper. Prosper used to be sort of the edge of things beyond Frisco. Now, Prosper feels very much like Frisco. So Prosper is one of the main places we would point people to if they're saying, I wanna to move to Frisco, but for some reason, Frisco is not an option. It could be price, location, or literally just the availability of what they're looking for. It's just not on the market or it doesn't exist right now. So Prosper is a great option for that to the north. Now, when you go to the east of Frisco, uh, McKinney is kind of the biggest thing that people are gonna talk about. Now, McKinney is similar in a lot of ways to Frisco in that there's just about everything you could ever want in relation to restaurants and entertainment, um, you know, golf courses. McKinney has a slightly different feel to it. Older downtown McKinney has kind of an older small town feel. And then the heart of McKinney has some really big master plan communities like Craig Ranch and others that start to feel a little bit more like Frisco with lots of homes in one neighborhood um, and this feeling of connectedness with parks and wildlife and trails and things like that. Now, to the west, you've got a couple of things going on. You've got the colony directly west of Frisco, access to the main highway, lots of big, big, big box retail with huge stores like Shields Sporting Goods and Nebraska Furniture Mart and some of these individual stores that feel like they are their own shopping malls. So that's kind of some of the identity of the colony from a commercial standpoint. And then you've got the lake to the north, um, like Louisville, uh, which is, or Louisville Lake to be exact, um, which creates some of that lake lifestyle. In and around the lake, you've got restaurants and some entertainment and nightlife on the water. And then just off the lake, Again, you've got some big master plan communities with thousands of homes being built in the last 10 to 15 years and many of those being built right now as we record this. So you've got a, a couple different things happening in the colony. Most of the colony is easily accessible to the main highways, but there are parts of it that are tucked back into some of these coves and kind of fingers coming off the lake that are actually somewhat hard to access and create a more private uh, protected lifestyle. So there's some cool stuff happening there. Um, you've got Little Elm, which in some ways feels a lot like the colony, but is transitioning back into that Frisco feel or that Prosper feel, and is a little bit more northwest of Frisco. So that's something to look at uh, for a little further out, um, a little bit more of that kind of neighborhood community feel. Again, thousands of homes uh, that have been built in the last decade or so, and more being built as we speak. And then that's gonna give you access further out Northwest where you are starting, at least for the moment, to get into some bigger lot, slightly more suburban, if not somewhat rural communities, which probably won't last a whole lot longer at the pace of building right now. 
Now, you also have Allen kind of east, southeast of Frisco. Allen's got its own identity in that it stretches east-west a lot, all the way from Dallas North Tollway on the west side, all the way over to 75 Central Expressway on the east side, and has its own identity east of Central, and then a slightly more Frisco, Plano-like identity on the west side, which is between the Tollway and 75 Central. Allen is primarily a neighborhood community, pretty well known nationally for high school sports, ironically, really large schools with lots of kids to choose from and typically pretty competitive on the sports front. But again, feels a lot like Frisco in the neighborhood feel, operates differently than Frisco from school district standpoint, and has, a, has less of the entertainment restaurant nightlife. Now look, Allen has plenty of that, outlet malls, big shopping centers and things like that. But compared to Frisco, has more of the residential living and slightly less of the big commercial development, uh, retail entertainment type stuff. But those are the primary communities in and around, I mean, I say in, right on the edge and slightly off the edge of Frisco, kind of in a 360 degree look. There's a few that are kind of one ring out like Salina to the north. Um, if Prosper used to be the edge of Frisco and now Prosper feels exactly like Frisco, then Salina is the new edge of Prosper that feels like what Prosper felt like before. And there's a few of those in each and every direction, but Frisco is becoming such a large population center, such a large employment center, such a large entertainment center. It's the home of the Dallas Cowboys. You know, there's there's concert venues, there's minor league baseball, there's hockey, there, you know, there's home base for the hockey team. There's multiple shopping malls and multiple highway, major highway intersections, corporate campuses and all those things happening in Frisco that there's already the sense that people are, are wanting to get one ring out of Frisco, where Frisco used to be that one or two rings out of Dallas. So this is happening quickly as we record this in 2022. This is what's going on. It would be interesting, and I'm sure we'll do it, to come back in 23 or 24 and shoot further versions of this video. You could probably go back to 2020 and 2021 and see previous versions and see the growth trend already for Frisco, Texas. But if you're thinking about making a move, from out of the area to Frisco, and you don't have to be in Frisco, then those are some of the ways to get that Frisco lifestyle without being in Frisco. That's how you can move to Frisco without moving to Frisco. If you're within the DFW area and you haven't thought about Frisco much for a while, Frisco's changed a lot. It's really grown up more rapidly than some would even like. And so you might wanna check out some of these outer communities that I'm sure you're familiar with, but maybe not as familiar as you thought you were as things change and as things grow. Now, the one thing we didn't mention about Frisco is there is still uh, a semi-historical downtown Frisco feel with some of those older homes that have been convert converted to some cool restaurants and things. So Frisco is still fighting and holding on to some of that original personality. There's nothing negative to say about Frisco here, but if for any reason Frisco doesn't end up being your landing place, some of these outer communities would be great considerations for you. If you're looking for someone to help you buy or sell in the Frisco area, we'd be happy to talk to you about that. Our information is below. I'll talk to you on the next video.